Let's look at solving uh, for exact values the six trigonometric functions. Um, so for here, first thing you have to do is label your sides. Now this is where it matters where theta is. Uh, the right angle is always 90 degrees, so you're really looking at these two uh, corner angles. So if I'm looking at the bottom corner angle, labeling my sides, uh, the side across from the hypot the right angle is the hypotenuse. The side directly across from theta is the opposite side. And the other side that touches is the adjacent. If I flipped the angle to the top corner, my hypotenuse is still across from the right angle. This time the opposite side is down here being labeled. So before the, this was the adjacent side. And now the adjacent side is here. So the first thing you have to do is always label your sides according to where they give you the angle. The next things that are is uh, the sine cosine tangent. So S is for sine, C is for cosine, T is for tangent. Uh, so SOHCAHTOA, the O is opposite side, H is hypotenuse, A is adjacent, H is hypotenuse, O is opposite, A is adjacent. So the sine of theta, again, is opposite divided by hypotenuse. See, these are the lengths of the sides. Cosine of theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So you can pull off the sine, cosine, and tangent from this uh, word here. And then these other trig functions, cosecant, secant, cotangent, are the opposites of the way they're lined up. So notice that cosecant lines up with sine, secant lines up with cosine, cotangent lines up with tangent. Don't get this confused because these start with C's. Cosecant does not line up with cosine. It lines up with sine. And you just flip the sides. So instead of opposite over hypotenuse, it's hypotenuse over opposite, hypotenuse over adjacent, adjacent over opposite. So now let's look at the given example. They gave me the angle down in the corner. This is the right angle labeled. So this is my hypotenuse side. Again, I've labeled it over here, hypotenuse. The opposite side is directly across, so that's the 28. The adjacent side is the 45. So once I have these labeled, then it's very easy to go up here and pick off the numbers I need. So the sine theta, okay, O is opposite, so it's 28. H is hypotenuse, 53, so it's 28 over 53. Cosine theta adjacent over hypotenuse, so 45 over 53. Tangent theta, opposite over adjacent, opposite, 28 over 45. And you always want to make sure to see if you can simplify these, but there's no number that goes into 28 and 53 or 45 and 53 to simplify. Line up your other functions, cosecant, secant, cotangent, and just flip these around. So 53 over 28, 45, uh, so it's going to be 53 over 45, and uh, this one will be 45 over 28, and that's it. So if I expand this a little further, and let's say I am looking at these numbers now with this theta over here. So um, label my sides. Opposite is going to be 84. Hypotenuse, again, always across from the angle. 159 adjacent, 135. So opposite over hypotenuse for sine, so it's going to be 84 over hypotenuse 159. These both divide by 3, so I will reduce them to be 28 over 53. Notice it's the exact same thing I ended up getting up here. Cosine is opposite over adjacent, so opposite, I'm sorry, adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's 135 over 59, 135 over 59. They both divide by 3 here as well, so 45 over 53. And tangent opposite over adjacent, so 84 over 135. And these reduce as well by 3, so 28 over 45. And for cosecant, secant, and cotangent, again, you just flip these around.